On a Friday afternoon, James Ray is helping his son out with a few projects around the house. But this morning... This morning, and every morning and every day, I think of those men and women. On this Friday, 19 years since 9-11. The sacrifice those men and women made. They kept going in, they told me. They kept going in until they couldn't go in anymore. Just That's, like it was yesterday it for is, you. It is always yesterday. Ray served 23 years as a Port Authority police officer in New York City. He moved to Winston-Salem after he retired in 1996, got a job with the University Police at Wake. On the morning of September 11, 2001, I was sitting in my office and a patrol officer, Jeffrey Holloman, came in and said a plane had hit the World Trade Center. He says, I know you worked up there. I was sitting on my desk. I was a detective at the time, and I said to myself, another crazy pilot in a small aircraft just got lost or just something happened medically. Anyway, no big deal. Then they come in and told me something else about it. I dropped what I was doing, walked outside, and lost it. I remember working there, doing things up there. In 1973, I got my police ID card up there on the 61st floor of the World Trade Center. It wasn't even complete yet. Hundreds of miles away, the images he saw of the World Trade Center brought him back to memories of New York in 1993. I responded to the first call in uh, 1993, February, from JFK Airport to the World Trade Center that uh, February morning. It was, we didn't know what we were doing. We didn't know what we were getting into. Those memories of the response to the February 26th bombing of the World Trade Center fuel the intensity of 9-11 year after year. And now me recalling those that were lost. There were 37 Port Authority police officers. 90% of them I knew well. Some were classmates from the academy. Some I worked with for years. Following the attack, Ray and his son Ryan went to help staying for a few days to try and help pick up the pieces, wearing this helmet with this bottle of water, 19 years later, still unopened. That ultimate sacrifice that they made so today, I can stand here with you and all of the people around here who have really not a whole lot of idea of what went on, but they can walk out their door and express any type of freedom they want because of the men and women that sacrificed what they did that day. I will never forget. Leanne Tenure reporting for us there. A beam from the World Trade Center is